subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get our latest updates. So let's start with the basic question, what is dementia? Because I think it still gets, uh, there's still a lot of confusion around it. Yeah. Um, I think that's a very important question to start with. Thank you. Um, dementia is a term that we use to describe a collection of conditions which present with memory problems or other brain functions such as language, recognition, ability to organize oneself and do activities uh, which our brain helps us to do. So the best analogy I can think of when we talk about dementia is when we say someone has fever. Mm. Uh, there are different causes for fever, different types of fever. So it could be malaria, dengue, and now uh, COVID. Mm. Now, similarly, dementia is a generic term which describes uh, a chronic degenerative process in the brain. It could right. be caused in many conditions. Alzheimer's is the most common type of dementia. There are also other types of dementia, such as vascular dementia, dementia and Parkinson's disease, mixed type Alzheimer's and vascular, and so mm. on and so forth. There are so many different types of dementia. The most straightforward one. There are many conditions which can mimic dementia. Uh, mm. There are many problems which can present with memory problems in an elderly person. And it's very important to rule out some common reversible causes for these memory problems. Now, if you're able to do that, then you can actually prevent many problems later on in life. Diagnosis for dementia. That's one. The second general myth that nothing can be done for dementia is a myth. And mm. it is not true um, as definition of myth. Um, there are so many things which we can do for someone with dementia. Um, of course, it's like having diabetes or hypertension, for which, again, there is no permanent cure. There's no permanent treatment. It right. doesn't mean that uh, people shouldn't get their uh, diagnosis of diabetes or diagnosis of hypertension. It's important you mm. check future complications. Similarly, for someone with dementia, if you're able to identify the illness early on, you can prevent a lot of complications later on in life. The other important opportunity it provides the family and also the person um, having dementia is that it gives them an understanding of what is happening to them and what's going on around them. I think that's extremely important. It gives them a sense mm -hmm. of um, control over what is happening in their lives and, and also gives them a, a, a direction about what they could do in the future. So what help that they can access. Again, accessing appropriate sources of help. Um, like uh, there are no, yes, there are no disease modifying treatments as yet, but we can slow down the illness uh, progression we can actually prevent a lot of complications like behavioral problems, agitation, aggression, sleeplessness, and all that which happens later on uh, as dementia advances. We can prevent many of those issues. And also we can provide a lot of psychosocial interventions, which actually are non-medical interventions as they're called, and reduce caregiver distress. And of course, my favorite uh, kind of reason for getting a diagnosis is it gives people an opportunity to participate in research and also improve uh, you know, the care for dementia and potential uh, therapies for dementia in the longer term. So these are some of the common reasons I can think of uh, why or important reasons why I can think of that people should get a diagnosis. 